Yahweh Ilmi Susibeka Turiya Shmakabrun. Yahweh God and Creator, we surrender ourselves unto you. The one and only God above all gods, perfect manifestation of all things blessed, the very source of perfection, the very source of all blessed attributes. We breathe as one. We choose in this moment to center ourselves upon one consideration. That is our perfect God, the one and only God above all gods. We see many examples throughout this earth of the small g gods, those things that others worship that do not come to manifest the perfect attributes of our loving Creator. We surrender now into the holy recognition of the name that He had given unto the first word of creation, Yeshua, drawn forth from the very beginnings of His name, Yahweh, her perfect wisdom, the one and only to be worshipped, Yahalal, the very evidence that God is the source and Savior, Yahshua, al Yahweh, we, we surrender ourselves into that which is your perfect spirit. We choose within the practice of the life-giving breath that is within us to allow for your spirit to emerge within the holy nature of your attributes. That we choose not to embrace anything of your anything that is not of your spirit. We choose to relinquish any holds we've established upon things that are not of you. We choose this holy opportunity to release any attribute that does not emerge from your perfect love, the agape love, the pure love, the manifestation of your presence without corruption. We breathe. Did you hear me sharing these words about centering in upon God's presence? centering in upon the perfect nature of that which is God and choosing nothing but that. I know you've heard us in every aspect within this practice that is grace healing, this instrument that God has formed. But I cannot convey enough that how simple that is, but it is the most important aspect in every part of our lives. Every part of our lives. We ought to seek God first. And I learn more and more each day to take great care of those things we see as confirmation or those confirmants that come before us. We choose to manifest the fullness of God's love, to extend the agape love unto others. We teach within this practice that is grace healing the importance of centering every act first unto Yahweh's presence. To be clear, Yahweh, our Creator, Sanctifier and Redeemer. Yeshua, the physical manifestation of that which is our God and Creator. And if we do not connect and draw to that place that is the perfect nature of the Holy God, that is the one God, 
we will start to form all manner of other things that we would describe as love. We had this beautiful call the other day from one of our brothers that is just overjoyed as he traveled the world and went to a couple different countries and was blessed to see the agape love because it's all they were looking for. They weren't looking for strife. They weren't looking for drama. They weren't looking to judge. They were just going forth to love. And they just found this incredible outpouring and recognition of God's presence everywhere they went because that's what they presented. People looked upon them and saw them differently and invited them into places because they sensed and knew something that was grand and beautiful within because they sought the presence of God first. They stirred a newness of life within the people they encountered. This is what we have shared for years from within the walls that we dwell, that is grace healing, from within the times that we travel forth and meet with others, the blessings of love that we extend, the blessings of healing that we extend and see evidence for people whether they receive them or not, the holy opportunity to point with absolute joy and thanksgiving, look, there's God. Look, there's God. Look, put a stake in the ground right there. God just showed this by his own hand. Take great care to remember these divine things that you yourself cannot form or script or define in such a way that you yourself constructed them. That is evidence of God's presence moving through so that no matter what you are facing, you will always know that you have God not only with you, but there to bless and bring order unto all things you experience. Sometimes it can be challenging. But the agape, the pure love, is always present within it. Be strengthened in knowing that the very living breath of God is the very beginning of your existence each and every moment you draw breath within this human form or your spirit remembers and knows of God's presence. We breathe as one. Breathing deep. That way we are freed. We are stripped from all things that we've encountered of these past days. We join now as one body for the sake of all needs that we know within our hearts. Each individual that we hold within love, anybody that has wronged us in any way, any person that is facing any form of disease or sickness, any person facing any form of incarceration. We thank you for this holy opportunity that we set aside ourselves for the sake of each of those people that have revealed their needs throughout these days. So many individuals that face different needs on a daily basis. doesn't matter what their walk of life. Each person encountering newness, some encountering love, some encountering strife, some encountering stress. But the reality is God's presence is known throughout all creation when we seek that which is God. You cannot know of the presence of God through thought or intellect. You can only know it through surrender and the reality that his spirit is the very gift of life that resides within you as you center yourself and draw to the very source of all blessing. And we breathe as one. Shunyola, 
Il est le menac un recor à bon chulier. Tour il est le Javé, we take this moment to be freed from all wrongs of the past, to be freed from all memories of the past, to embrace only the wisdom that is your presence in this moment. That many of us have learned many things throughout our lives, but that we would enter a place of trust, that we would relinquish these things we think we know, to measure them before the nature of your holy attributes. Trust and know that anything that does emerge from your nature reflects your nature. And we breathe, we trust, we offer thanksgiving, praise, and worship through the holy and blessed name that you have given for each of us to call upon in any time of need or distress. And from within Yahweh Elohim, there is Yeshua, the very living flesh, the sole presence of God. There is the Abwun, the life-giving breath, the Spirit of God that resides within us all, the very manifestation of life. I pray in thanksgiving to know that God will bless each of you a deep and holy sleep, holy recognition of his presence within your life-giving breath that you receive in each moment, and the opportunity to look upon life in a new way, as this day unfolds, as this night completes in the deepest of rest and tomorrow rises to bring you new blessing, new opportunity, and the time and relationships to look deep within somebody's heart and say, look, there's God. Look, there's God. And point out the presence of God in many ways as you walk it in love. Choose to be a lover, not a destroyer. Relinquish the mindset of a destroyer. Embrace the fullness of love through unity without possession. And again, this is all spoken for the most pure name that is Yahweh, that which is Yeshua, and Abu. Amen.